Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to initiate the bill a discussion on National Medical Commission Bill 2019. Sir, I stand here to oppose the bill. I do agree with the Minister that the Standing Committee has recommended how to restructure the MCI and how to frame a new bill. But whatever the recommendations which he accepted are not very important. Nine of the recommendations which the Standing Committee has proposed are very important. For example, this bill is nothing but a dilution of power from the doctor's fraternity to the, to the government. For example, this bill, instead of decentralization, it becomes centralization. They have diluted the MCI, they have diluted the RTI, they have diluted the ECI, they have diluted the CBI. So the same thing in this bill is what happened. So, so this bill, if you look at it, majority of the bill, especially in, the, in terms of licensure, I request the minister for your, in your response, in the entrance exam, I'll not talk details of the clause by clause, in the entrance exam, there's a need and a next. I understand the need has been practiced. Almost 50% of students who participated in the, in the NEET exam, they passed and qualified. But the next, after the student has enrolled and studied for six years for MBBS, as per the Unis uh, University Act, the university is supposed to give a certificate. For example, whoever passed from Ames, if he passed, a certificate will be given to him. But now who will give a certificate? Whether the commission will give a certificate or a university will give a certificate. Because after the medical institutions or medical college declared that this has passed the exams and also has done a practice for one year, and they are supposed to give us a provisional or original certificate and from, the, from the college as well as from university. But now, until unless he pass the next exam, he'll not be qualified. So I want you to clarify one thing on this issue. Who will give a certificate? Then now, after practicing in Ames, one of the best institutes in India, whether he, if he fails the next, he fails to get a license to practice or not. That's one thing. Another I want to seek your clarification. In the committee health service provider, you said that one third, as of now there are more than 10 lakh doctors are there. Out of one third of the doctors, a certificate will be given for the, communities, uh, for the community health provider. There's no clarity, there's no transparency how the certificate will be given to this community service provider. So I want you to give a clarity, otherwise there's lots of misuse will be when a certificate will be issued to the service provider, especially in the rural areas, how the certificate will be prepared, how will they enroll, what are the qualifications, I want a clarity on this. Another thing which I want a clarity from the minister so far, I've seen, I do agree with you, in the MSI, lots of corruptions, lots of corruptions. I used to associate with a lot of Christian medical institutions. Normally the MCI will come and they'll inspect. When there's a good Friday, uh, then it's holiday, so the next day will come on inspection. And the new year, they'll come inspection next day. When they know that less doctors, less patients will there, they'll come and give a report. How will you address this issue? Also the same thing in the next, in the next, in, 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 this, in this field. In terms of inspections of the, of the medical, medical colleges. And lots of things have been pressed about the integrity of the members in the board. Now, sir, an MCI with 100 members of there in the MCI, it's difficult for them to inspect most of the colleges. How will you overcome from 100, you reduce you to only 25 members. Of course, you have a board for the, for the undergraduates, you have a board for the postgraduates, you have a board for the medical, for the colleges, you have a board also for the doctors. Separate boards have been there of different, different categories. But how this board will be working, how the integration will be done among the boards, so that there's a proposal I've seen, but there's no clarity on that. So I want you to address one of these issues. 
So instead of about the, again integrity, now in your own, from the PMO, I think it's better you to find out how do you mean by integrity of a doctors when you select it. There will be a select committee and the select committee will try to find the best man, the best doctors in this 25. As of now, sir, an IAS officer who has been opposed by the PMO office that he's not fit to be a secretary in the department. Now he's a secretary in, in the board of governors. He's, he's using that one. So how do you, how you define the integrity? I think that there's no clarity on it. So sir, please answer on these questions also. Another thing, sir, you have said that there will be four boards and the state councils also. The state councils, they have their own rules and regulations how to regulate the fees. So this is, the bill is heavily, heavily concentrated how to supervise, how to uh, make rules for the private. What about the, what about the government, government institutions? As of now, most of the common institutions, common medical college, I have seen in the areas, example like in my constituency, Negrims is supposed to be one of the best, uh, the best institutions in India. It's not even 40% of the, of the sanction posts. And lots of the posts in the common institutions have been de-sanctioned and moved to other. It's supposed to be for super, super specialty and they were de-sanctioned because we lack of doctors. So instead of concentrating on the research in the bill and how to produce more doctors, more, more doctorates in doctors, then you concentrate only in a small, small, small thing. I want you to answer on this. In case we have now 21 aims and then we so many super specialty, the, the, the intention of the bill is to increase all those, but there's no encouragement for the students. So I request you to look into, into the matters and answer me in the bill. My uh, senior, he'll speak lots about the bill. Sir, my only, uh, my only uh, request to you to withdraw this bill and come with a comprehensive bill. This bill lacks the structural integrity, it lacks the structural vision, and it lacks the institutional vision. Therefore, sir, I request you to look into it instead of replacing the elected body with an elected body, you are replace, replacing an elected body with a nominated body, which will be controlled by the government. Out of 25, only six doctors will be elected from the states. The rest will be from the government. And all of those are ex officio or part-time doctors. They will not have time. Even now, I, can, I, I, I would like you to enlighten this August House from your board of governors out of the 12 members of the Board of Governors before, now you increase it. How many times they have a meeting? I think not even twice in a year. And where they have a meeting? They don't have a meeting in MCI, they have a meeting in AIMS, they have a meeting in Jimmer, they don't have time for, uh, for, the, uh, for MCI. So the same thing here, so you have an ex officio from different, different departments, you bring them together. How will they have time for the organization? Therefore, sir, this issue has to be addressed so that if you really want to improve, there must be a full and dedicated members so that whenever they inspect, whenever they go for the inspections, then the college, as of now, we have almost like exactly what you said, we have almost uh, only 60 to 70 percent of the seats because why uh, institutions have uh, 150 seats because of inspection done by the MCI and just before the, uh, before the, uh, nomination or before they need exam, they say that we'll reduce your seat from 150 to 100. So many institutions are like that. So many institutions are that they don't have a full capacity because of the inspections, because of corruption. I request you to address properly in the bill so that whatever institutions which are an asset of this country, we are almost 70% of our doctors, 30% we are lack of the, the demand for, for doctors. Therefore, sir, I request you to look into so that whatever institutions, whatever medical colleges which are there, they should be a full capacity so that the doctors will get more doctors in this country. Thank you, sir.